Good morning, Twitch.tv. Let the record show that this viewer was here first. Samurai Sam is first. Stunning. <laughs> Let's go. We got round trip. Roundabouts are the only weekly upgrade offered. And yes, Pepito, there is a sound alert now. There is. Pepito triple underscore is here. Leah Fireheart is here. I didn't know I needed that in my life, but I need it, says Pepito. Well, now it's here, and now you know. And because I actually set up the set up the redemption right, you can only do it once per stream. And if you actually want to hear the sound, you have to wait until after the starting soon screen. So, and yes, indeed, Nick's candy cone will hate this one. Hate it so, so much. Hate it so much. Tunnels don't require road tiles, but you're not gonna get them. Like, you don't get tunnels. You can't go through the... We can go around, but you can't go through. What good is tunnels don't require road tiles if you don't get tunnels? It's not fair. Bad news is tunnels are gone. The good news is tunnels are free. Make it make sense. Oh, we'll take a roundabout. How about that? Exactly, Sam. Hooray, they're free. Boo, you can't have them. Also, we're doing this whole three pink houses, two pink businesses thing, which is just great. Here. So you go over to here and you two swing up this way. Keep this guy going. It's going to be fine. Probably a good idea to use some blocking roads. Like, do we, do we, re we really want to make sure that this road here is available to us? So we don't want any houses to spawn right here. Would be bad if that happened here. Let's take you, swing you down that away. There. Now these five green guys can come here. Can't wait to see the goog drown in roundabouts. Listen. Listen. Feel like Max Caster here just saying, listen. Listen. Glorious. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Here, let's expand our blockage road. All right, well, now we have a reason for this road because these orange guys need to get up here. More like drownedabouts. Oh, oh, Byron. I mean, you're not wrong, but oh, Byron. Here, let's cut this corner. There's no need to go all the way up there now. And hey, look. Now there's a usage for this road right here because blue guys. Samurai Sam would like to hear a true fact about WCW, which we haven't done here on Mini Motorways in a minute. Give me a second here. We'll catch up with that. Uh, you, Mr. Purple Guy, are going to swing up here. You, Mr. Other Purple Guy, are going to fuck off and die. I have no plans for you. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. All right. Um... Let's see. Well, last night I told for free the story of Bam Bam Bigelow getting counted out of nowhere. That was part of Hades, which was a lot of fun. Thanks to everybody who came out for Hades last night. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's talk about... I've got my little WCW.txt file here trying to figure out which one I want to tell. Let's tell a story about a time that uh, WCW went with the NWO when it was stupid to do so. Because that's kind of like, I've mentioned a few times that part of the reason WCW ultimately died, in addition to just generally being stupid, is that they, uh, they couldn't stay away from the NWO even when it was clear that they needed to do something else. And this is an example of that. Sam asks if I killed Hades during Hades last night, and uh, we did two runs, we got to Hades twice, and uh, we, we, we went one and one. 
We went one on one. I killed him once. He killed me once. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, I could use that purple in if I used a roundabout. I could. Or fuck it, use two. Why not? <laughs> we just got a good strong point. Uh, let's see here. Let's take another roundabout because it's all we're getting. You two come over to here. You go there. Listen, Leah, you know I have a problem. You know I have a problem. And you're sitting here saying, oh, fuck it, use a roundabout. No. It's fine. This is all fine. I think this one this one guy can totally can totally Actually, you know what? You know what? We can probably get away with just j just putting one. Like what if we just put one right here, right? And what if there's what if it was just that one? Okay? And just that one roundabout had, you know, Look, th th that's totally fine. Look how totally fine this is. Here, we'll even give the purple guy its own access port. Okay, so, so all of a sudden, we can just use one roundabout, it'll be fine, has turned into, here's a septo road. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I was kidding, too bad. No, you mentioned it and now it has happened. Okay, uh, how are we gonna get this yellow guy up to- Oh, I know how we're gonna get this yellow guy up to here. It involves another roundabout. And also a bunch of road that I don't have. I, I don't have a problem. I could stop whenever I want. I do have a problem in that I only have one road tile right now. But, you know, I, that, that's fine. You don't need roads to do things. So... The year is, uh, I think this was 1997 this happened. Yeah, it's the summer of 1997, and Hulk Hogan is the WCW champion. He has been the WCW champion since, like, the summer of 1996, and if you recall the summer of 1996, that's when the NWO was formed. Uh, now, we're going to desperately cling to these 20 road tiles right here, uh, get you into here, and boom, and these two yellow guys are gonna hurry up over there and save the yellow business, right? Like, I'm not actually just screwed at less than 300 trips completed. Please? Pretty please? I might actually just be screwed at fewer than 300 trips completed. That would be a problem. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully everything's fine. Everything's not gonna be fine. Spoiler alert, nothing's gonna be fine. But, in the meantime, uh, you are gonna come down here, and I think actually we need to get these blue guys out of here. So guess what? It's time for another roundabout. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this has quickly gotten out of hand. Here, go there. So you blue guys come down here into this roundabout. Some of you go down here to this blue, bu blue business. Others of you come down here into this nightmare. <laughs> and then go down here. This is all fine. This is all just, just A-okay, 10 out of 10, no notes. Nobody has any notes. I have one minor there, just for you to get over there. Now you yellow guys, okay, the yellow guys are catching up. This is good. This is what we like to see. Okay. What is this, Swindon, Milton Keynes? Oh no, now, now listen, listen Byron. We will not be... I know exactly one thing about the presumably town of Milton Keynes, and that is that they stole AFC Wimbledon. So, I'm, I'm sure there are lovely people in Milton Keynes, but also the franchise currently plying its trade there, the bad people. They do bad soccer things. This situation was inevitable given the challenge. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it sort of was. All right, you go there. Um, we're out of road again. Out of road again. I can't believe that I'm out of road again. I was telling a story about Lex Luger. I haven't even mentioned Lex Luger, but the story's about Lex Luger, sort of. So it's 1997, Hulk Hogan is the WCW champion, and as you recall, he has recently turned heel. He's a big dominant bad guy and everybody hates him. And it's great, WCW is making a fuck ton of money. However, the whole point, the whole entire point of having a big dominant bad guy world champion is that you can eventually build up a big dominant good guy. 
and the big dominant good guy and the big dominant bad guy have a match and the people root for the big dominant good guy and the big dominant good guy wins and the big dominant good guy goes on to be world champion for a long time in a celebratory manner and all of the people come out to see him. Okay? This is how professional wrestling makes money. This is professional wrestling storytelling. This is pro wrestling 101. You put a big dominant good guy and a big dominant bad guy in a match and the big dominant good guy wins and it goes on and it works. And the big dominant good guy is the world champion for a while. Okay? This is how it works. Now, uh, Nix has suggested I slant the yellow road down onto that orange road. So, oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy comes down here, goes into that roundabout, goes up here. Now, you, up here, we have a problem. And by we have a problem, I mean, mm, I don't know who exactly has this problem, but look, we're just going to further complicate matters regarding this roundabout, and that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. So your big dominant world champion is Hulk Hogan, right? Okay, fine, whatever. It's 1996. He's still almost good. And he's really making a lot of money, so I can't complain too much. But the point is, you have a big dominant bad guy world champion in Hulk Hogan. And you've built up this big dominant good guy in Lex Luger. And we've talked about Lex Luger before. He was an NWA guy. He was a WWF guy. He jumped back to WCW. He was the first big WWF name to jump to WCW when WCW started getting more legitimate. So Lex Luger's had a long career, done a lot of things. And at this point, he's ready to be the world champion. He is as good as he's ever been in the ring. The crowd is so very much behind him. Like the crowd really loves them some Lex Luger at the moment. Uh, we're gonna separate these blue guys from this. Actually, I say that, I don't know if I necessarily believe it. I was gonna separate the blue guys from the network, but I think instead, what I'm going to do is run out of road tiles. Okay, so right now, this purple house right here. Okay, um, you know what? Let's not do that ever. Let's do this instead. Here we go. So Lex Luger is super popular, and the crowd is really getting behind him, and he's ready to be the world champion, right? And WCW actually builds to a pay-per-view match at the, I think it's the Road Wild pay-per-view. And we've talked, we've talked before about Road Wild and how it's a bad idea, but never mind. At the Road Wild pay-per-view, it's going to be Lex Luger versus Hulk Hogan for the WCW world title. Okay, cool. That's great. However, however, WCW has a, has a regular you know, weekly show called Monday Nitro. And for whatever reason, this week, Monday Nitro is coming from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. And the Georgia Dome holds, like, some fucking ridiculous number of people, like 40, 50,000 people. And they're doing their weekly TV show from there. It's wild. It makes for a great environment, but it's a wild choice, okay? And because there are so many people there, Hulk Hogan, consummate showman and business person and carny that he is, sees an opportunity to say, Well, brother, if you put me in the main event and then 50,000 people show up, I get to say that I was in the main event and 50,000 people showed up, brother. Even though, even though they had already sold these 50,000 tickets. So Hulk Hogan didn't draw shit. WCW drew shit because WCW was huge. Hulk Hogan didn't draw that house. But the point is, you put Hulk Hogan in the main event, Hulk Hogan gets to say he drew that house. So what they do is they hot shot their pay-per-view main event which is the thing WCW just did. You have a match coming up this Sunday that you're asking people to pay for, but what you do is you put it on TV for free, and then uh, you ask the people to pay for the same match again a week later. That makes sense. So even though this Sunday's pay-per-view main event is Hulk Hogan versus Lex Luger, on Nitro, the week before the pay-per-view, they do Hulk Hogan versus Lex Luger. And listen, Hulk Hogan versus Lex Luger on Monday Nitro at that moment 
is one of the five greatest moments in Nitro history, okay? They fucking nail it. Hogan has all of these goons in the NWO. They all run in and try to cost Luger the match, and Luger kicks all of their asses. He chucks them to high hell. He hooks Hulk Hogan in his finishing maneuver, the torture rack, and Hulk Hogan screams like a little baby, and he submits, and he loses, and Lex Luger wins the world title. WCW has reclaimed its championship from the NWO. The entire locker room comes out to celebrate. The crowd goes fucking wild. It's perfect okay i have no notes about that episode of monday nitro they took lex luger this guy who had always been a guy who was like man one day he's gonna be world champion but he's not quite there yet and he had been that guy for 10 years and they finally did it they finally made him a dominant beloved babyface world champion conquering hero who had thwarted the NWO. He was the first guy in a year to stop the NWO to reclaim the beloved WCW championship from those foul vandals who had stolen the belt and spray painted it with their gang tag, right? Okay, so Lex Luger is the greatest babyface champion in the history of the world. He has just defeated Hulk Hogan. He is as big a star as you can possibly have. And six days later, he loses the title back to Hulk Hogan and none of it mattered. So they hotshotted Luger and Hogan on TV. Luger won the belt, crowd went nuts. Six days later on pay-per-view, Hogan wins the belt back. Hogan's the champion again. That's it. End of story. Eat Arby's. Hogan just won the title back. They just put the belt back on Hogan. They did their they did their big thing. They made they made everybody happy. Luger has defeated the NWO. Something is finally going to change and then they were just like, mm, "Actually, no." Actually, no, Hogan's still the champion, and it's just status quo. That cool, perfect moment you just watched on Nitro that we built to, didn't matter. Didn't matter. Might as well have not have happened. It just didn't matter. Stunningly, uh, Lex Luger was ruined as a babyface. He was, in fact, pretty much ruined as a top card as a top of the card draw for the rest of his career, even though they tried to push him a few more times, crowd never believed it. I can't believe that the crowd never believed it, but in fact, the crowd never believed it because the one time they actually pulled the trigger on Lex Luger, dominant babyface world champion, they undid it within a week. Crowd never believed it. Lex Luger was never the same dude. True fact about WCW. Can the lower purples go directly to the left of the purple business instead of going through the blue business? Um, maybe? The reason I haven't done that is that, hold on, uh, you need to point out this away, and actually you need to go that away. Yeah, I need to get more yellows involved here. You need to go that way. You're gonna come up here. You two are supporting this guy, which is fun. Uh, the reason I haven't run these purples straight up to here is that I also wanted these purples to support this guy. Plus, uh, even if I go up here, there's a chance that they would go here by going through the parking lot. I'd have to restructure the road such that these guys, you know, such that this road hooks around this business. And I don't want to do that. I might need to do that, but I think for the most part, this is okay. Uh, the big problem I have is this yellow guy is dying just because there's not enough uh, there's not enough traffic going to it. I can fix that sort of by how would I fix that? I guess the way I'm gonna do that is bring this down to here and now these yellow guys, yeah, these three yellows can swing down here, pick up, this guy 
go through this roundabout, go through this roundabout, and come up here. This is going to be fine. This is a this is a good and good plan. Needs more roundabouts. Actually, Ghosty kind of does. I mean, I could sort of use a roundabout right here, but I can't fit one just to get these pinks in a way in an order that makes more sense. Um, it's not a major concern, actually. You need to go up there. Why does this spur exist? I don't see any reason for this spur of the roundabout to exist right now. Disconnect the western orange square from the roundabout to reclaim some road tiles. I mean, honestly, yeah, these three oranges up here can definitely support... Yeah, you can definitely support this business all by yourselves. We don't need uh, no education. We don't need uh, this guy hooked into the roundabout. That's fine. I also don't think this guy needs to be in the roundabout. Yeah, I don't think this, uh, I don't think this needs to be in the roundabout. Because we've got, what, six orange houses down here supporting a circle? That's fine. That's totally fine. So we'll do that, reclaim some road there. Meanwhile, the only other orange business on the map is right up here. And it is supported by these six dudes. So that's actually fine. Byron wants to know my top three films that make you cry. Uh, let's see. The closest I've come to outright crying at a movie is the... You know Toy Story 3? I'm going to try to avoid spoilers for, for some of these movies, because why not? But there's a moment at the end of Toy Story 3 which is very clearly designed to get you to, to get the audience to just absolutely ball their eyes out. Yeah, that moment basically worked on me. I didn't actually cry at that, but yeah, that, that moment works for me. Um, the next one that comes to mind is uh, also from Disney Pixar. It's, uh, it's the first 10 minutes of Up. The first 10 minutes of Up are just the most heart-wrenching shit in movies. And yes, that's a cliche choice, but damn it, it's true. All right, now we have a problem here in that this green circle has, uh, well, it's a circle now. And I only have two green guys dedicated to helping it. So, you know, problems. Let's put, I think we're going to put one more green guy on this. So these three greens will be tasked with supporting this circle it's going to take one green away from this one but that's going to be okay i think that's going to have to be fine so yeah the next thing that comes to mind is up specifically for the opening sequence beyond the opening sequence up is a perfectly fine movie the first 10 minutes of up are just yeah and then the next one for me um the first thing that pops to mind is the shawshank redemption just because i love shawshank it's a great movie um, you are gonna come up to here, and you are gonna come up over there, and then swing in there. I would take both of those green and take back all of that road. So basically take this guy, swoop it up here, and, hmm. I mean, if I do that, Nyx, if I do that, I only have four greens. Well, I actually, I have eight greens, because these guys exist too. Actually, yeah, I did forget that these guys exist. So, yeah, we can take back these two tiles, which, hey, it's not nothing. Um, is there any way? You know what I bet? I bet I can separate these yellows and this green. Yes. Yes, I can. I can do this. So these two yellows go straight into the roundabout. These four greens go straight into here. And we have a nice little pocket with a green circle and a pink circle. These two guys are actually adhering to the philosophy of one business, one road. It's beautiful. You love to see it. What else you love to see is four more orange dudes running into a roundabout for no particular reason. You can go support this circle. That's going to be grand. Now, uh, this guy up here is unfortunately going to be supported by some unscrupulous business dealings. And by unscrupulous business dealings, I mean we're bringing back this uh, previously unnecessary spur of the roundabout. You're just gonna come down here. This is all gonna be fine. There, 
these orange dudes gonna pull more duty it's gonna be totally totally cool i have no problems with that why would anyone have problems with that really when you think about it nobody should have problems with that yikes all right everybody go okay so yeah i think my top three are gonna be shawshank redemption number three uh up number two and toy story three number one I fucking love Toy Story 3, which is part of the reason I fucking hate Toy Story 4. Not a fan of the ending of Toy Story 4. All right, come here. Ow. Uh, what are we doing here? We need to get this pink guy over to this pink house. That seems doable. Seems imminently doable. In fact, you just went circular, you fucker. Well, I listen, if, if that's what you want to do, there, there are very few things I can do to stop you. Even fewer of them are legal. What I can do is stick around about right in there just for this orange guy. And now we have you know, six orange dudes. Yeah, six orange dudes tasked with supporting you. That's fine. Give me this. The Southeast Orange is not needed on the roundabout. That's true. These orange dudes right here are surplus to requirements for this orange roundabout right here. That is absolutely the case. What can I do about that? That's a good question. Well, what I could do is figure out some way to run them down here and get them into this nonsense, which is actually probably what I should do, if you think about it. That's what I should do. That's definitely what I should do. So let's take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Let's at least start with these two. These two dudes right here, I think, can swoop down thusly. And if we round about right here, this is fine. There. So now you five houses are on this road. Did I say five houses? I meant six houses. So you guys are all here. And you know what? Now that I've done that, this part becomes very obvious. You come down here, swoop this way. Huzzah. So now you 10-ish houses go over there. Now that I've done that, uh, these two guys right here don't need to be this far up, right? You don't need to come this far south if you're going that away. That's totally cool. We can do a spur out of here and you can do a spur into there. And you, let's keep that tree alive because we can, there. So now we've got four yellow guys go up there into that yellow house. We've got four orange guys go down here into this orange house. Okay. Busita says the two orange houses left of the yellow can join the road above them onto the green circle. So they, the two orange houses left of the yellow. Let's find that. Let's find that descriptor first. Two orange houses left of the yellow. Uh, huh. Huh. You mean these? Maybe these two. Can join the road above them into the green circle into the roundabout. I see. Okay. Um, I don't want to put more traffic into this roundabout. This roundabout is probably what's going to kill me, to be honest. Like, this roundabout is crammed as it is. So I'd rather have these guys take a longer road instead of increased traffic flow into this roundabout. But you're right. You're right, they totally could. It would probably be more direct for these two to come up here into this roundabout and then up into this roundabout rather than have them be the 10th line of defense. Actually, let's try it. I'm gonna try it. It does It does seem like a better idea. I'm just really, I'm really nervous that, actually, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if, what if? Instead of routing these four into that roundabout, we route them into this roundabout. Eh? Eh? What if these come down here into this roundabout? These yellows are headed up here anyway. They don't care about this roundabout. If they come down here and go up around here, they can go past here into this, and everything's coming up Goog House. Now then... I still have a whole bunch of pinks. I've got these three pinks down here and this one pink over here. And do you know what that calls for? That calls for another roundabout, actually. Little known fact, that is what that calls for. That calls for another roundabout. So what we're gonna do 
is you orange guys are gonna come up here into this roundabout, right? You're gonna come over here. You're gonna come up this way. You're gonna go straight down there. So now, so now, these pink guys can be emergency supplementary support for this guy. These pink guys can still fuck off and do their own thing. Like, I've got 800 pink dudes supporting this one circle. I, everybody go. Everybody actually go. This is probably fine. Ish. I've taken a little bit of pressure off of this here. Yellow should go north from there, not into the Octo Road. You're right. You're right. Now that I'm now that this roundabout exists, this guy can get Does this guy draw support from anywhere? This house. But this house doesn't have to be there. You can be down there, which doesn't actually change anything. That doesn't actually change anything because you still funnel into this roundabout and this roundabout. So this guy, this road does need to exist. However, it doesn't need to be the only road because I can do no, I can do this right there. That is ugly as fuck. I can do this right here. So these yellow guys get over here from the south. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, you point south. All right, this is fine. This is this is a okay. What's gonna kill me? What is gonna kill me? This roundabout. This roundabout is absolutely gonna kill me. How do I make this not kill me? Is there any way? See, the purples need to go there. The greens need to go here. Could I maybe, if I pointed the greens here, if we do another, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you come down here into this roundabout, so now you go right here and foosh. You came, yeah, just like Nix is saying, up here. Can I reposition that roundabout? Can I just move you? Mm. Now, if, do you need to do you need to be a roundabout now? Is anyone coming to you? Yes. Okay, there still needs to be a roundabout here, but by funneling the greens away from it, I've significantly improved my life. Like significant life improvement going on here. You know what? You're gonna have the awkward angle. I don't care. You go in. You go there. So now the greens from down here are still going to go through this roundabout, but these six greens are going to come here. I'm afraid that by restructuring this, I've created a nightmare. It's possible that I've killed everything in the process of trying to fix it. But I actually don't have a but there. Um, this roundabout is a nightmare. Hi. Man, you got a lot of cars in you, don't you? I don't have any other comment. That, that that's all I ha that's all I have to say. You, you you got an awful lot of cars in there, buddy. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? <laughs> Not really. Um, I could try to run the pink guys out of this roundabout into this recently improved roundabout, thereby de-improving it or unproving it or you know making it worse. I, I like unproving it. I'm just gonna unprove that roundabout. It's fine. This is all fine. Everybody go. I need to get more blue guys down into here. Hold on, how do I get more blue guys down there? How do I solve a problem like more blue guys? Y you come here. I only have so many musical theater jokes and I use the ones that I have too damn often, but oh well. Yeah, more traffic for this roundabout. That sounds like a good idea, the underscore Goog. Good job, well played. Here. This is all fine. These blue guys are gonna catch up and be okay. Here come the blue guys. Da na na na. Here come the blue guys. And I said, yeah, that's actually kind of all right. Do 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 do. All right, this is fine. I wasn't listening for five seconds and I missed the musical theater joke. It's fine. I made the same one I always make. Uh oh, good green guys. Just just perfect. Just just amazing. Uh, you know what? Is this, I can, this kind of works? 
sort of. I can make it work. That's a better description. I can make it work. It doesn't actually work, but I can make it work. Here, you come up to here, you swoop up this way into there, and now I just need to get a couple of greens into that roundabout, and look, a green into that roundabout. There we go. Uh, no, it wasn't the Music Man one. It was the My Fair Lady one? Think about I think how do you solve a, no, how do you solve a problem like Maria's West Side Story? I made the West Side Story one. Uh, west of pink, west of double. Shoot Schmergerberg? Uh, oh look, a whole bunch of blue guys. Okay, uh, oh, you're a circle now. You're a circle now. You son of a bitch, why are you a circle? <laughs> Do you really think you can, we can afford for you to be a circle? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria is sound of music? Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, that th that that is right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is sound of music. Okay. You're right. Um all of those blues take them out of the roundabout. So these guys can go voop into voop. So these blues get out of this roundabout and down into here. That's true. West Side Story does have Maria and she's a problem. But, you know. Uh, so these guys, so the, th so the idea Nyx has is that these come down here and then go down here and then presumably get into a specially constructed roundabout right here, which keeps them out of this roundabout. Actually, it, uh, does that eliminate the necessity of this roundabout? Probably. So it keeps them out of this roundabout, which takes some pressure off of this roundabout, which is a good thing. That's just a universal good. That's just a universal good. Getting these guys the fuck out of there, yes, that's a good thing. Additionally, bringing these guys down here so that they can share this orange road is probably a good thing. It's probably a thing we want to do. Can you, there you go. That's what I want. Okay, everybody go. Now, uh, you guys need to uh, swoop and boop. And actually, can I just, I'm just gonna round about these fuckers because these actually, no, there's no great reason to do that, is there? Because you just need to come back up here and you just need to come back down there. And this doesn't need to be here. This can just go there. Okay, fine. Everybody, uh, everybody go now. Swell. Okay, here, get on the road, get on the road. You are a blue guy and you're very mad. How do I get more blue? How did this happen? Hold on, how did this happen? What is this? Why do I have two of this? I don't understand why I have two of this. This is fine, this is fine. These orange guys are mad. Why are these orange guys mad? Is it because this one roundabout is dying? I think it's because this one roundabout is dying. Listen, I routed my entire road structure around a single roundabout and it wound up dying. Who could have possibly foreseen such an outcome? Um, how do I? Is there any way that I can bypass this roundabout with any of this traffic? Could I, perhaps, not do the thing I'm currently doing. What if we take this guy, right? Let's take this guy. I'm just gonna, I'm just creating a roundabout based off of, I, okay, I was gonna say vibes, but the vibes are not good here. I can't put a roundabout here. I wanted to put a roundabout there and I can't, it makes me sad. Um, here, what if this spur just comes down to, this spur doesn't need to exist. There. Um. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I think we're running out of life here. Uh, yeah, you can point south. Get more blue traffic going. It's gonna be fine. It's it's not fine. It turns out that was actually very close to dead. Listen, fourteen hundred sixty-six passengers or trips even with that many with that many dudes. That was difficult. I'll take a top 20%. I will absolutely take a top 20% finish 
on today's edition of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Like, seriously. I'm just opening Wordle here because I forgot to open Wordle because I forget to open Wordle. Yeah, that could have gone much worse. <laughs> Fucking Samurai Sam is still 20 trips better. God damn it. Oh, God damn, Sam. Oh, God damn, Sam. Also, just swear all the time. All of the profanity. Of course. Wordle wasn't bad today. Great. Maybe Wordle was great. Uh, I, I have so much experience using roundabouts. It, it came in handy. So, uh, none of the words in great are there. Uh, I just realized that Tarj is, a, is an anagram of great, which is a good thing to know, but not helpful for today's Wordle at all. Like, uh, this is a, the one of the worst. Maybe, given this information, this could be the absolute worst second guess possible. We're not going to do that. But I think that's the absolute worst second guess possible. Uh, eager is also a t eager is also a terrible second guess. Good lord, the underscore goog. Okay, uh, let's go with sh skunk. There, it's a bad second guess, but screw it. I saw that green ass and fruit. As always, for one brief and shining moment, I was like, oh my god, I'm a genius. No. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, it could be... Uh, s no, it's not snout. It's definitely not snout. It could be snoop. It could be snoop. It's not, but it could have been. All right. So we know that the N has to be... So it's some S something O something N, right? So, it's S C O. No, it's not Scion. That doesn't make any sense. S H O. Huh. S L O no. Uh huh. S something O something N. Hmm. It's not swoon. We know that. It's not like, yeah, there's no A in it. Huh. I'm right there. I feel like there might only be like one or two words that fits this. And once I remember what one of them is, I've got it. But, you know. Easier said than done. You were at some point right there. <laughs> great. That's just great. Um, SCO. I sat here for a while. Skoln? No, that's not a word. Um, Sholn? No. Huh. Fuck. Oh, good God. All right. Um, maybe just pull some more information based on what letters I know are in the word. Like, maybe there's a... What five-letter word can I make with the letters that I haven't used? Like, child. Child is going to give me five pieces of information. Okay, so it's S H O something N. So it's shown. Okay, all right. I was right in that there were only so many pieces of there were only so many words it could have been. Oh, okay, all right. Hey, we got the wordle in five. We got top twenty percent in Good Morning Mini Motorways in the daily challenge. That's the name of the thing. I think that's good. 
I think that's a good thing. I think we're going to call it there. So thank you all so much for watching. I will be back here on Twitch tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock Eastern, for more Good Morning Mini Motorways. For the folks on YouTube later today is... What's out today? Hades? I think there's Hades today. Yeah, Hades! Hades later today on YouTube. So stick around for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.